Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the rainy afternoon. Proverbs chapter 11, and today we're looking at verse 16. A gracious woman attains honour, and a ruthless man attains riches. So both attain, but not both are good. So a gracious woman, that's a woman or a man who is filled with grace, someone who has attributes that are favourable, that are willing to, in effect, bless despite this sense of graciousness about how they respond to life, how they go through life, how they respond to people, how they answer questions, how they pay their bills. All of these manifestations of opportunity to exercise grace. It says, A gracious woman, a gracious man um, will be attaining honour. And uh, the the attain concept is that they will gain honour. And how will they gain honour? Because the attributes of the way they behave can lead people nowhere else but to honour them. The respect that they gain as a result of the manifestations of grace that they express will only reinforce to other people that here is a person who is worthy to be honoured because they do the right thing and they go the right way and they and they say it in the right manner. Unlike this one here, this um, this ruthless man. So a man without a roof. Uh, No, but a man without a covering, a man who doesn't have the capacity to be able to take control of his self, this sense of being uncovered, being naked in a sort of a physical and spiritual and soulless form, that they are those who reveal everything about them. They're ruthless. They go through life, in effect, without any consideration or or, or a sense of care for anyone else they are ruthless they do what they need to do to get what they want and so these ruthless fellows yes it's true they gain riches but Jesus says will it profit a man if he gain the whole world and he loses his soul brothers and sisters have we lost our soul to a ruthless attitude in life brothers and sisters God wants us to be gracious why so that we can be honoured and life works when we're gracious. And not only that, but if we're representing God, then when we are gracious, we manifest the very grace-filled nature that reflects God and people see our good works and glorify our Father who is in heaven. And so the reality of our witness to people as we exercise grace in our dealings with people, communicate to people The gospel, the love of God transforming an individual's life. Unlike the man who is ruthless, uncovered, unwilling to exercise any grace, just is ruthless to get what he wants. Yes, he gains riches, but you cannot take into the glorious place of eternity the riches that you gain here on earth. So tell me, what is really valuable? Stuff? or what's beyond the grave. Have a great weekend. Stay dry if you can, and I'll see you on Monday morning. God bless you.